YouTube world, hello. A little bit cockeyed tonight. <clears throat> you know the camera is, I'm okay. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Eddie Kirkpatrick. God bless everybody. Well, the ninth story I want to tell you is, uh, you know, thank God you're a Christian. You can ask forgiveness for things because I've done some stuff. Well, we all have sinned. And, yeah, anyway. Because this is back when I was a little feller. Seven, eight years old. I was in Boy Scouts. Never made it to Eagle. I just didn't, didn't do it. Anyhow, I uh, had this old boy named Steve Patterson. Big old fella. <clears throat> He's about twice our size. He, you know, he just growed up quick. Puberty hit him early. and We all had flat tops and you know, my old buddy Jimmy Arm, Brad Hilly, I told you about them. He was in the cap troop. And old Steve, he's a big old forehead. Big old boy had black hair like he combed it back and everything. We all used to make fun of him, you know. He was kind of clumsy. They trip over a log or, you know, um, had trouble tying the knots and stuff. He, one time, we was playing fox and hounds and he wanted to jump in the ditch, and I said, no, I want to keep going, you know. And I ain't going to get myself stationary. They looking for me. They go this way. I'm going that way. They come back this way. I'm going to go back this way. Anyhow, that's just what I thought back then. They still did. They ain't going to get cornered in. But anyhow, we got cornered in. He jumped right in the ditch with a slap full of poison ivy. Oh, my gosh. You know, swole up. They had to take him home. Next year, we, we you know, we we're going to do the same thing, big big camp jamboree thing. And uh, Steve, he done growed him some sideburns by then, you know. Big, big deal, boy. Big boy. And, you know, he had that real cream he slicked his hair back with, you know. we go take a shower, he'd get out, put that real cream, slick his hair back. And one old boy, Jimmy, he... I was going to play a little joke on him, so he brought something from his mama's medicine cabinet there to camp. And we squeezed old big boy's uh, Steve's real cream out and put some of this other stuff in it. Next day, he takes a shower and goes rubbing his hair with that stuff. And, you know, massages it in real good, slicking it back. Gets his comb out. We all looking on there like, whoa, we're skiggling to start with. But then we all got serious, oh no. Uh-oh. <clears throat> this boy's he had hair all over his hands like a gorilla and his big old comb there you know he had his metal comb back then it was cool to have a metal comb that thing you could tell it was metal it was just all covered in black hair and you look up there at Steve and he's just just that's just coming off oh my god take a shower take a shower so we got him in there took a shower you know but he come out, his head's all red. He's got just little bitty patches here and there. That nair stuff was bad. And that's what it was, a nair. That's what that boy put in his tube. That stuff you buy and women put on their legs to eat hair off. Too lazy to shave or whatever. That stuff would also eat your skin off. You have two layers of epidural come on off with you. Wasn't too successful because women would lose their tan. Yeah, it'd take the hide off of you. Anyhow. That was a product back in those days. Oh, and we all felt bad, you know. He had to go home again. Gosh darn. His head, oh man. So we asked forgiveness. And, you know, later on in life, I went to a grocery store, you know, one day. Uh, wanted a special cut of meat and do some jerky. You know, just a rump. No, no bunch of fat in it. And, uh, well, you'll have to see the butcher, you know. I said, well, get the butcher out here. You know. The butcher come out there, and there it is, Steve Patterson. Head butcher of the biggest daytime grocery store. Biggest daytime grocery store in the whole town. Hey, Fisher, he remember That's what everybody called him, Fisher. <clears throat> How you doing? I, 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 oh, Steve, yeah. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Yeah, everything nice and cordial. Now, Steve, I, I said, I need a, you know, like a London broil or a rump roast. I'm like some jerky. I want a piece of meat with no fat in it. Yeah, I can get you one. He got me one and everything. Boy, I thought to myself, man, driving home, he was real friendly. I said, man, I, 
how in the world this guy, I guess he forgave us, you know, or just forgot about it, one of the two. But man, as much crap <clears throat> and stuff we put that guy through, oh, geez, I mean, it's just a miracle. You know, we didn't get struck by lightning or something. But anyway, we asked forgiveness, he forgave us. And things cool. You know, when I got home, though, that piece of meat sure was tough. Yeah. That's Steve Patterson. <laughs> YouTube world. Bam. Adios, Ed Kirkpatrick.